back to my channel. Ah, there's nothing different here. There's nothing different going on. Oh, oh, the cut. Oh, <laughs> yes, I finally did the bob. I had been wanting to do it since before summer. And honestly, I should have done it in the summertime because my neck is cold and winter is on its way. Ignore all the little floaty dusties. But how are you? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have some outfits that I made for the end of fall uh, into the beginning of winter. Kind of styling and layering pieces that I've been doing to give you some inspiration or just to see what I have been wearing. Another topic that I kind of also wanted to talk about in this video is the process of making outfits that you love and you feel like they look really nice but then actually wearing them outside. I know when I was first getting into fashion, I, for some reason, really struggled to wear an outfit outside. I don't know what it was. I think it was just a lack of confidence because I would make these outfits and put them on and take photos of them in my room and I'd be really confident in them in the house. And then there was just something that would hold me back from actually like taking it outside. And I would often do this thing where I would kind of dilute it a little bit. I would take off a piece that I thought was too much to kind of make it look more normal. And that's just something that I've had to really work through to just be confident in my outfit and know that I actually feel my best when I'm doing the most, you know? You don't have to dull yourself down to feel like you fit in. If you stand out, and I know this is easier said than done, but if you are standing out, like, I think that's for the better and I think ultimately you'll feel better. So we'll get into that later, but that was just something I kind of wanted to, to hint at as we're starting this video. So I have five outfits that I made for you today. Uh, the first one, I'm wearing the same top. Uh, I just thrifted it in Montreal, classic me, just always wearing my new pieces because I'm so excited about them. It's this really nice crochet top um, and I think that it's a perfect layering piece because it's a little bit cropped as you can see. So I think it works really well if you are layering pieces to kind of have it, like you can have a longer shirt underneath, which I do in this first outfit. So let's get into it. So in this first outfit, I actually layered two skirts. Uh, I have this silver kind of more flowy straight skirt that goes just below the knee. And I styled it with a white, more textured skirt that I thrifted in Montreal, which you would have seen in my last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And then on top of the skirts, I added in this gray form-fitting tank top that I kind of pulled down below the white skirt to kind of bring back the gray and break up the white. And then on top, I topped it with my crochet long sleeve that I was just mentioning. And I think that the layers worked out really well. And then I put on my silver belt on top of the tank top. There's a lot of like intentional layering. I really made sure this outfit, what I was putting on was stacking appropriately to all be kind of complementary uh, with layering you have to kind of make good decisions of what you want to show i topped it with this really interesting kind of cropped jacket sweater it's not exactly a jacket because it's a little bit the zipper doesn't go up super far but it's still nice and warm and it has these really cool tassels down the side and i like that this kind of broke up the like really really cool tones and i like that kind of brought everything together and i love how this outfit turned out i think this style of outfit is really nice if you're doing anything kind of more fancy i picture this outfit being appropriate for things like fashion events going to the museum going out with friends to like a cool wine bar it's just like a really cool outfit i felt and it made me feel so confident. And this one I've actually worn out so I can speak to confidence that I got from wearing some, even a little bit outside of my own comfort zone. But like I said, like, it's just the matter of picking outfits that make you feel the most confident. And in this case, going a little bit out there and being a little bit eccentric just adds to it and you'll be wearing the outfit with more confidence. I promise you wearing outfits out, even if they feel like too much for whatever occasion you're going to, it is always better to be overdressed and underdressed, I think. And 
once you're out there, you'll realize that A, no one cares as much as you think, and B, if they do, they're just jealous because you look so cool and confident. Okay, this next outfit I think is a little bit more toned out. All that being said, sometimes, sometimes you wanna be more cozy. So this next outfit, I wore these green cargos that I love. They have like a really cool stitch down the front. And then I paired it with my long sleeve. It's a Club Monaco long sleeve that is a little bit distressed. And I put a brown belt over top of that and I paired it with some cowboy boots. And then I brought in, I have this really nice brown kind of choker beaded necklace and the brown earrings that I'm wearing. I really like all the warm tones in this. And even though I think it's a little bit less dressy, it's still a nice enough outfit that you feel confident, even if you're going for a more cozy look. And then I paired it with my every single day. Like I swear I wear this purse every single day. It's like my work purse. It's this kind of like cool Western brown purse. And I paired it with all the browns in this outfit. And to finish it all off, I put on this this brown jacket with a really interesting buckle design. I love this buckle because then you can kind of leave the rest of the jacket open and it adds this really cool silhouette. And I just love this outfit. I think it is perfect for going to the library, going for coffee, anything in the daytime. If you wanna be a little bit more cozy in pants, but still look super cool. Next outfit, we really changed gears. I have been dying at the trend of skirts over pants and I finally did it. And this is also something that I did in public. And let me tell you, the way you feel so comfortable, but so stylish at the same time when you're doing skirts over pants, I don't think I'm ever going back. The girlies understood and they were entirely correct. I paired this short little mini skirt over top of these bell-bottom gray jeans with some chunky platform boots. I have on this really cool kind of snakeskin-esque mesh top. And again, I pulled out the bottom of the mesh. There's two layers of the mesh. So I made sure that I pulled out the black on the bottom to kind of give some more layering and some more character to the whole outfit. Also my <laughs> cat, my cat came into frame and he was having his moment. So I simply had to let him. So then we were styling the outfit together, little style icons. <laughs> And then to keep on trend with all the black, I paired it with this cool heart black leather purse that I have. It's nice because it's like a cross body bag and I love how it kind of complemented the silhouette and it fell exactly right on my hip. And then to finish it all off, I decided to go with a leather blazer. This is a go-to. I think I've had it for years and I will never get sick of it. It goes with every single outfit because it's in that blazer shape. It's the perfect mix of like kind of business casual, but like cooler. And this was one of my favorite outfits of the day. I think it is so cute. I would wear this any day. I think that this would be perfect for again, kind of like an evening outing, going to the museum or just going for a cheeky little walk. <laughs> I love this outfit. I think it is super cute. Okay, this next one. I love this next one. So this one is a little bit more on the flirty side. I got these white knee-high socks off of Amazon. Hate to say it, but here we are. Sometimes you just gotta get the basics. I paired it with these really cute brown shoes. Also, my cat was having his moment again. He is the star of the show. Honestly, this video is actually just my cat. His name's Tulo, he is a cheeky little guy. <laughs> I wore that with a brown corduroy mini skirt and then a brown belt and a white t-shirt. I thought that this was looking super cute. We were having our moment. And then I recently picked up this cool brown, pink and white leather mini jacket. Those are a lot of words to describe a jacket, but I thought that this tied everything together. Perfect mix of like, school uniform meets a little like cheeky sexy flirty girl on the town i don't know i love this outfit i would honestly wear this as like a night out maybe i'd switch out the t-shirt for like a flirtier shirt i think that this was one of the best outfits of the day i was so happy with it and i will be wearing this out the next opportunity i get all right and we saved the best for last this last outfit my favorite of the bunch. 
I wore my Jean-Paul Gaultier, don't mind me, skirt that I got myself for my birthday off of Grailed, or no, I got it off the Real Real. It is super cute. It kind of has this like yellowy hue to it. And then I paired it with a long oversized cardigan. It's honestly like so big and I have to roll this sleeves up like a thousand times, but that's how you know it's good. And I wore it with some black knee high socks and some black pointed toe heel boots. And I wore it with this cool black purse that I have. And honestly, when I first got it, it wasn't too much, but I added on a little bow. I know everyone does bows, but we love bows and some cool little pins. And this outfit, I think, is like, the only thing I could think the entire time was date night. This is a date night outfit. Like, date with your best friend, date with yourself, date with your loved one, whatever. I just think that this is perfect for dinner. She is adorable. Tell me why it's four o'clock and, it's not even four o'clock, it's 3.51 and the sun is setting. So ignore the change in lighting. It's, it's tough out here. It's tough out here at this time change. But those are all the outfits. I hope you liked them. I tried to make a variety for different occasions as we kind of went through, but honestly, like I was saying, I think that we need to kind of move away from outfits for different purposes and like skirts are for the evening and jeans are for the day, et cetera, et cetera. I know, I'm not sure if everyone feels like that, but I know that I have kind of subjected myself to that way of thinking a lot and kind of boxed myself in. But once you just wear outfits out and you like break outside of your comfort zone, you realize that like there really isn't any rules. Different pieces and looks can be appropriate for different occasions and you are your own fashion guide in this world. And that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. Like how you present yourself and what makes you feel comfortable is all that matters. It's not about fitting into a certain occasion or trying to please anyone else. Just wear what makes you comfortable. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. I know I've kind of been testing the waters between more vlog style and then more kind of purposeful like this is the topic of the video so if you have any requests or any anything at all let me know I would love to hear you guys out in the comments below and I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you so much for all of the support um I know we're just starting out here but I already feel a little community forming so seriously thank you so much I am so excited to see where this channel goes and yeah let me know what you're wearing through the end of 2023 as we head into 2024 i can't wait for all the new videos and all the new outfits and all the things we'll do together and i can't wait and yeah i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in the next one